do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter study of animal tissue in that we are studying topic type of animal tissues now in animals there are four different kinds of tissues that are found epithelial nervous connective and your muscular tissue today we will be studying about all of them their function structure everything animal tissue now before we move down to what are the different kinds of tissues that are available in animal cell let's try and understand the definition of what is a tissue now tissues if you see the smallest individual component or structural unit of our body is a cell and when number of cells come together what we get is tissues when tissues come together we get organs and when number of organs of similar type come together we form a organ system so tissues can be defined as a group of cells which are similar in structure similar in function living together and performing a certain function in animals there are four different kinds of tissues available the first one is epithelial tissue next one is the muscular tissue connective tissue and nervous tissue we start with nervous tissue now nervous tissue is fine in our brain remember brains have something which is called as neurons now neurons are nothing but structures which actually carry electrical signals in our body for example if you have to pick a pen by your hand now those instructions has to be given down by your brain and when that instruction from your brain travels down to your hand there are bunch of tissues termed as neuron cells or nervous tissues which are present at every periphery every corner of your body for example your toes will have a nervous tissue the tip of your finger will have a nervous tissue in which information flows at a speed of an electric current and which conducts nerve impulses information that is processed with the help of your brain and finally given to your nervous tissue epithelial tissue now when i say epi it means above tissue that grows above the surface epithelial tissue is most commonly can be seen on your skin surface on the covering of your various organs they basically provide protection secretion as well as absorption muscular tissue now muscular tissues are present everywhere wherever your muscles are present they help in stretching wear and tear of the muscles etc connective tissue now when i say connective tissue it has something to do with blood cells or capillaries arteries veins of your blood cells connective tissue wherever present whether it's a heart blood capillaries they basically help in protection as well as transport and this transport is basically of blood cells which could be plasma lymphocytes wbcs erythrocytes all of them study of animal tissues now when i say about tissues they are nothing but group of cells working together to carry out a particular function 
Now, tissues can be defined as a group of cells that are having similar origin and similar function. For example, the epithelial tissue will have similar origins, almost similar structure and will carry out a simple and similar function. Epithelial tissues which are basically present on the upper surface of your skin provide protection. For example, epithelial tissue on the upper surface of your skin acts as a barrier. When I say barrier, it acts as a thing which stops the entry of dust, pollutants, water, moisture, raindrops beside or beneath your skin. It is impermeable to all this stuff. Also secretion or epithelial tissue which is present in the inner lining of your nasal cavity, throat, intestine secretes mucus and certain substances helps in absorption epithelial lining present inside your stomach now endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm all the three germ layers of the embryonic stage now these are the three germ layers which were formed whenever you were born as a baby once the fertilization process takes place and then the zygote is formed after that three germ layers which are formed are this endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm and from this your epithelial tissues or all the animal tissues originate basically Next one is the muscular tissue. Now muscular tissue basically helps in movement as well as locomotion. Connective tissue which forms the lining of your heart, bloods and capillary help in support, binding, protection, circulation of lymph, blood, WBC, RBC, platelets and transport to various parts of the body. And finally your nervous tissue, the main tissue of your body which helps to conduct information or which helps to channel or pass information they help in conduction of nerve impulses basically information to do things the command that is given by brain to different organs by the body is transmitted by your nervous tissue or neuron cells that help to control and coordinate bodily functions so students in this part of the chapter we broadly studied about four different types of tissues where they could be found and what could be their function in general. I hope you are very clear about this concept. Thank you.